to week eight of our family beatitude service. Today we'll look at the verbs, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. First, I want to bless you. So I invite you to hold out your hands like this. May God bless you inside and out from your heart to your mind to your body. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Sing this again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, to see high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 I want to see you. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, I want to see you. Jesus says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Jesus cares about our bodies, our hearts, and our minds, how we act, how we feel, how we think. Let's all put a hand on our heart right now. In our bodies, the heart is the center. Our beating heart keeps us alive. The heart's also the center of what we live, how we live our lives, what we most want and need, what we feel, what's important to us, we carry in our hearts. What we carry in our hearts has a big impact on the actions that we take and the choices that we make. The inside of us directs the outside of us. That's why the heart, the inside of us, is important to Jesus. That's why Jesus said the pure in heart will be blessed. To be pure in heart is to show love for God, neighbor, and yourself in how you act, speak, and think. Our integrity is an important part of this. You are a person of integrity when your outside actions match the person you are on the inside. Integrity means working towards wholeness for yourself and creating that same kind of wholeness for other people. 
When your heart is pure, you also want wholeness for everyone else. When you live from integrity and purity of heart, you do kind and helpful things because you love God and your neighbor. You aren't focused on how it makes you look or what kind of reward you might get for doing those good things. Maybe you empty the dishwasher because you know that's a way to show love for a grown-up in your life. Or you clean up your toys and markers because that makes the house a clean, safe place to live. Not so that you can earn more allowance or have more screen time. Purity of heart helps us make outward choices based on love and a desire for wholeness in ourselves and in the world. We will show compassion, mercy, and love because we know that's what we're created to do and we're created to be. And as Jesus says, when we do, we will see God. This reminds me of an Algonquin story called The Rough-Faced Girl. And in this story, there is a special person in the village called the Invisible Being, whom no one could see except for his sister. All the other people in the village tried to see him, but they never could. And in this village, there were also three sisters, two older sisters who were cruel and hard-hearted and made their youngest sister sit by the fire and feed the flames. And when the burning branches popped, the sparks fell on her. And in time, her hands became burnt and scarred. Her arms became rough and scarred. And even her face was marked by the fire. And her beautiful, long, dark hair became ragged and charred. And those two older sisters would laugh at her and say, ha, you ugly girl, you rough-faced girl. And they made her life very lonely and miserable indeed. But the two older sisters were very beautiful, and one day they asked their father for new necklaces and new buckskin dresses and pretty beaded moccasins, for they were going to go see the invisible being. And their father gave them all they wanted, and as they walked through the village in their new beautiful clothes, people looked at them in awe about how beautiful they were and their fine clothes and jewelry and thought, surely they could see the invisible being. But they couldn't. Now the rough-faced girl went to her father and asked for some new clothes and a necklace and new moccasins, but there was nothing left for her. So she did what she could by making a new dress out of birch bark and a necklace made out of broken shells and taking her father's old moccasins that were way too big and flapped when she walked. And then as she walked through the village, people pointed at her funny clothes and her two big shoes and laughed at her and said, you go home, you ugly girl. Surely you won't be able to see the invisible being. But she did. And when she got to the home of the invisible being, the invisible being's sister welcomed her at the door. For the sister of the invisible being was a wise woman who could look you right in the eyes and see into your heart. And she could see that the rough-faced girl had a beautiful and a kind heart. And so she invited her in and welcomed her. The older sisters who were selfish and vain couldn't see the invisible being. But the rough-faced girl who had a beautiful and kind heart was able to see him. Just like in this beatitude, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. We can see and experience God's presence when we see the fruits of God's Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Our eyes will open to the ways we see people caring for one another and the ways we experience it ourselves. And seeing how God is present in our midst gives us the encouragement and hope we need to keep going. Let us pray. Loving God, you are always real and true in what you do and promise. 
We pray a special blessing today on the Hill family and the Heritage family and pray for the Hill family's health and well-being and to grow in relationship with Christ during this time. We pray for the Heritage, Heritage's Emily, Wally, James, and Mary Elizabeth. And please help us all live our outward lives from pure inward hearts. We want to think, speak, and act because of our love for you and your world. We want to see your spirit active and at work and be part of your team. Amen. If you've never heard the story of the rough-faced girl before, I encourage you to get the book or look on YouTube for one of the read alouds. I did a brief version, but there's much more to the story. And I invite you to think about these reflection questions. When you think of a pure heart, what do you picture? What do you think are some of the right or pure reasons to show love and compassion? When have you done something kind or helpful just because you wanted to show kindness? How did that feel? And where do we see God? To see you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy To see you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, I want to see you, I want to see you. 